Hey there, Bricksters and Lego friends. Two Loose Bricks here with a review of the Harry Potter Hogwarts game. Set number 3852. Now this was a game that was put out back like in 2010. I don't know how the game works. I haven't really read the instructions. I was able to pick this up, like I said, for about $15, I think it was, I paid for it. It was used, but it was very clean, and it is a great condition. So for $15, bucks, I was absolutely thrilled to be able to pick this up. So, that being said, let's have a look at the set, and I'll show you all the different parts and pieces in it. So without further ado, let's hop on down to the game board. Alright, so we have the game board here, and we have the instructions. Now, like I said, I have not read the instructions, so I am not sure what exactly it is you have to do in order to play this cool game. Now, there's different um, um, there's different languages in here, um, both English, French, and uh, Spanish, of course. And now, you can change, I think, these blocks in and out here uh, from what I'm kind of reading right now upside down um, and the way they move around so um, that makes the game more interesting anyway maybe we'll take a, a gander at that and do another like gameplay video someday however I'll have to read the instructions first anyway I just want to go over the set and give you my opinions on what this parts and pieces in this game really looks like so first off it was a fun build. It was not really a long build. It took maybe about uh, three quarters of an hour to build it. And let's just see. Um, I love the printed tiles here. I love the printed tiles on the cube or the dice, whatever you want to call it. It's got that rubber dice. And of course, that was a special, special game dice mold that they made and I don't know if they're ever going to make any more of them but those things are pretty much awesome for lots of different mocks and builds so if you can get your hands on those they're awesome the printed pieces are awesome the little micro figures they're awesome as well because they are also printed there's nothing here that has stickers on it really that I can see um, all the little micro figures the Harry Potter figure um, that's right here he's printed the Ron figure is printed Hermione figure is printed and this looks like uh, maybe Draco he's printed and these the, the red yellow green and blue figures uh, are also printed for the different color of the houses in Hogwarts also we have a red and blue spider a green and yellow frog and uh, no chocolate frogs in this game of course <laughs> and of course once again the, all these parts can move so that makes it interesting I think as the game goes along if I don't bust things up in the process and it has a tower here the tower is quite unique in itself I really like that tower it's really neat very basic but yet it is quietly detailed so I like that and we also have I'm going to presume this is the library with all the different books um, on the shelves type of thing. So we're going to say that this is the library. I'm pretty sure it probably is. And this one being like the potions lab with all the different potions. Once again, color for each house. And also in the library, the books, a color for each house, each book has a, a own color for each house so that's kind of neat now they're all done on a six by six tiles and they can move around and I guess you can move them by pulling them up that way or whatever so you know the, the floor plan shifts as you play type of thing I guess that's the whole idea behind it um, not entirely sure like I said I gotta read the instructions however once again the build is pretty solid um, I guess that's why it's not pinned down as per se. It uses it uses those uh, plates on the bottom, and of course it's all um, put together with some green plates to hold it together at the bottom there. So it's kind of hard to turn it upside down without you uh, without 
for you to see it without everything falling off it. Now, as you can see already, I removed the tower and this one slid down so it makes a pathway into the spider. So obviously, you can do that um, within the game. So, um, love the sand green colors and the flags again for every house. Um, corner tiles for every house. There's a lot of color detail in this uh, regarding the different houses. Um, I believe this might be Mrs. Norris, the cat. I'm almost positive it is. And of course, why do we have a wrench here? A uh, minifigure accessory. Well, that is to uh, lift things up like your tiles and that if you need to get them lifted up type of thing. Um, so that is why they have that. Um, which is quite handy because it has that little beveled edge so you can get down there and, and pop things off or whatever if you need to get them popped off if they don't come out right away. So we'll just uh, stick him on the side there um, to keep for future reference and gameplay. Now, there was only one piece missing. The man that I had purchased it from told me that there was likely uh, one piece or two pieces missing. He thought it was the clear ones up here on the tower. Actually, the clear one was there. It was um, this black piece right here. It's just a black uh, cylinder, like you would see here on the, the edge here. It was one of them. Uh, no big deal. I have a ton of them in the uh, have a ton of them in my parts bin, so uh, we can just add one of them in there. So that is no big deal at all. So all in all this is a pretty pretty cool set um whether it just be for display which i'm going to use it for for like the inside courtyard of my hogwarts display or if you actually use it as a game so uh, i do have some more games uh, that came out around this time um and also the chess game the kingdom's chess game um, which we'll do a video on but anyway uh, this one here uh, we'll be using specifically for our harry potter display and uh, which we uh, pretty much got up to date right now as to what we have um, so it's coming we'll put this on the display and of course we will do a update video of that display shortly um, as you can tell right now, I am on vacation, so I brought this along with me just to give me something to do on a sort of gray day. And uh, it was a lot of fun doing this. So this is, once again, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Game 3862. Until next time, keep on building, stay happy, and have lots of brick building fun.